I forgot. You're broken. I don't want to play with you anymore. Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to be flying out the Kefil C7. And in my previous video, I called this thing all power. No matter. Why was that? Because the acceleration and the speed were insane, but the missiles weren't that fantastic. Now, the MiG-29, for example, basically has the same XL, if not a little bit better. And the missiles have become better, but they are still IR missiles in the radar missile meta. So at the end of the day, we are still looking at not all the power, but a lot of it. And still not meta, because it's only IR missile. However, these Python trees, or PL8s, as you will find them on the JAF, for example, are pretty damn funny. Sure. They're only IR missiles, and you can basically defeat these things by popping a singular flare. But the speed, the acceleration, the range, and the pull on these missiles is pretty nuts. These are, in my opinion, right now, the best IR missiles in the game by far. Maybe you can count R24s, maybe you can count R27s. But I don't really count those as they are massive, they're not very conventional. And these are small IR missiles, as you know them. When it comes to conventional missiles, I think these, yeah, these nuts, are pretty damn fun. And that's basically the review of this plane. The Defas are still dog water. The airframe is okay. It rips at about 1460, which is plenty fast to catch basically anything other than a MiG-29 on the deck. The acceleration is very good, other than MiG-29s. But you're also looking at massive speed bleed because you are still a Delta. You do have the canards in the front, just like the Kefir canard does. Funnily, because it's in a name, I know. But the canards on this thing are actually bigger. Is it a great plane? Yes, and uh, it's a great aircraft when it comes to scurrying around the outskirts. Kind of zooming in with max speed, dumping your dookie and leaving. So I kind of fly this thing like I fly the Harrier GR7. You are a rat fighter. You can stay at medium altitude and we start taking a look at it in the clip after this. But in general, I don't really know where to place this thing. In the previous video, I like to fly on the deck. Kind of use the terrain, pop up over hills, uh, dodge radar missiles that way. Because you don't have the most amount of countermeasures. And in that regard, it's not too bad. It's pretty decent. But... When it comes to carrying and when people are paying attention to you, you can't really do that much. And that's of course taking into account that you will be 12.0 basically every match. So you will be going defensive against radar missiles from the start of the game. You need to work around them and basically look for openings. And in some games there uh, simply are none. When it comes to 11.3 and lower, so you start fighting Phantoms, you start fighting other planes that aren't really that high of a BR. Unlike MiG-29s, F-16s, F-14s, this thing is pretty fun. It's pretty good. The issue is that you're not going to be running into those lobbies very often. And most of your lobbies are going to look like this one. As well as the previous one. This time I took a bit of altitude. But I kind of forgot about the contrails. You don't really want to go above 5.5 kilometers Because it's basically a massive please shoot me button. So right now we're getting shot at by a Phoenix. And I just turned around in time. Bled of all its energy. And yeah, we get a little bit of a Phoenix jump scare. Luckily, it didn't hit us. It didn't blow us into bits. And now we kind of need to disengage for a little bit. Because they see us. We are marked by a contrail. So I'm going to break off for a little bit. And get back to being a rat. Run away. Reposition. Come back when people are busy. And then these IR missiles are extremely deadly. They're really, really good. And again, it's a really average plane to fly. But the missiles are, they just make this plane really fun, or really funny, I should say. They're kind of dumb. The range and acceleration, I mean, look at this. Look how quickly that missile closed a 2km MiG-29. It's hilarious. The plane itself, I mean, nothing really changed. It's still, it's basically a better Mirage when it comes to playing in the average match. The Mirage 2000, however... Yeah, a little bit of a different beast and we start revisiting that really soon as well. But you really, you can't really pick any fights when there are people around. Right now there's an F-14 on my 6, he is running me down, he's shooting missiles at me. So for now I'm just gonna try and disengage from the main pack, see if he sticks. I don't want to go too fast, I don't want him to break off, but he does that anyway. So we are gonna start chasing him the second he does. 
And as you can tell, I'm losing a lot of speed very rapidly, and that's just the way the, the Kefir is. Luckily, it also will get it back extremely fast, because, well, the engine is absolutely nuts. I believe it's the same engine as you will find on the F104S, or at least the same kind of thrust. And the acceleration here is... I don't want to say unmatched anymore, because there has been a lot of new additions, like the MiG-29, that can easily catch up, or keep up with it. But when you run into a F-16, for example, you actually completely dust it. And that's mainly because of your top speed. The F-16 doesn't go that quickly. So if you get on at 6, you can very easily reel them in. And if you latch on at high speed, they can't really do much. Just be careful. Your rudder is kind of shitty. You lose your speed very quickly. And if you actually get into a dogfight, even though you start on this 6, if he doesn't try to reverse you, because if he does that, he's going to end up like this F-14 here. But if he actually kind of plays his energy, he's going to trap you almost instantly and you need to disengage. Just be careful that you don't overstay your welcome. Because if you do that, you are going to be out of energy and he is simply going to be running you dry. And you don't want that to happen. So long story short, just pray people don't see you. Pray you have a decent team and you are going to be completely fine. Now let's look at this F-14 that's coming in. We go low to the deck and if you do this then you don't really need chaff. There we go, flies by and now we start looking up to find him but he's actually going so quick that he's already going over us. The other two are too far away to really be bothered about so I'm going to turn around and see if I can help my teammate with this F-14 right here. So he shoots the missile off, it's another Kefir and well the missile misses and they're going to go head on and now I get to do what I'm good at. Having no skill and pitching up shooting an IR. And the nice thing also about the IR missiles is people don't get a warning. And because they don't burn for that long and they are just so quick, people aren't really aware of where they are coming from. They really catch people off guard, especially now as they are new. People don't expect these missiles to be this fast, to maneuver this well. It's really a step up from something like the uh, A9Ls. These missiles are truly about BTFO for all the IR missiles, but of course single flare is going to render useless the guns aren't that great you don't have that great of a staying power and if people start figuring you out where you go where you are going and if you start getting locked down you don't really have a presence you don't have too many countermeasures you don't have a lot of energy when it comes to actually dodging and stuff like that sure you can get it back very quickly but if you are on a 2v1 for example you're gonna have your balls drained too quickly you can't really run away from them unless you already have some distance on them but at that point they shouldn't really try to chase you anyway so this is one of those planes that do i recommend you to grind the entire tech tree for probably not i think you're better off with the nets for example the f-16 this thing is a little bit different it is different when it comes to top tier it's there's not another plane that's really like this so sure it's definitely unique and it's kind of worth to grind the entire tech tree for but at the same time it's not unique enough because the main selling point are the missiles here but you will find those on the j8 for example but that's basically a glorified mig-21 bis and then you have the f-16 and the kunas and the kunas is, is just an f4 without f7f's now it does have the good radar, but it doesn't get aim 7 fs And then you have the Nets. And the Nets with only IR missiles. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's good enough. I think that the loadout with aim 7 fs is just... Or aim 7 ms in this case. It's just much better. And then I pass out and I don't get to shoot because of that. And I mean, I cut trouble for a little bit. And look at how much speed I lost. This is an F1C. Sure, I cut my trouble for a little bit. And this guy is being peppered by multiple people. That's not what this is about. I'm just trying to round up the video. Look at that. We actually get a hit. And it looks like the guns are somewhat better. I don't want to say they have been fixed. But my guns, the same with the Vulcan in the video that I did yesterday, just perform much better. This might be placebo. It might be that I just barely get any gun kills now. But hey, it is what it is. And then we go for the landing because we are out of fuel. Yeah, that's very smooth. Ryanair landing right there. We repair and then we have four kills and we go and clean up the last, not two, the last one. But he's just going to fly straight and he's going to also catch hands from the other Kefir. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments which planes you like to see next. I'm probably going to be looking at the Mirage. But if you have another idea, do let me know.